Welcome to Colombia! I'm in Salamina and show you everything! Welcome wonderful people all over the world, thank you very much for tuning in to Colombia Frank, the best Colombian travel channel you can find on the net. I came here from Aguadas, I had to take a different way because the bridge is currently under construction, so it took me 90 minutes more, but I arrived finally here in Salamina and everybody who's watching my videos more often I'm talking so much about Salamina. It's one of the first heritage towns I visited here in Colombia. One of the first towns I really fell in love. And this is why my heart always was here waiting for me coming back. And in this video, I'm going to show you all around the town. And also I visited some hotels and I found some really cool stuff because usually or in the past we worked with uh, Lola Boutique and now there are new hotels so the offer is getting bigger and surprisingly great offer, great boutique hotels and yeah at the end of the video you will see them and also at the end of the video um, we will show you more footage of the houses I was running around today and shooting with the camera so we'll show you more of that and some more drone shots and so let's go now we are on the main square here like always in Colombia you have the church here you have the main square a beautiful park big trees all around and around you have all those nice colonial style houses Salamina is one of the heritage towns of Colombia so it's in the club with Barichara, Villa de Leyva and Jardin, Santa Fe de Antioquia, and also Guaduas and Cherico. I visited during that travel, and as you can see, looks very nice. I don't know, Salamina, it's so underrated. I sent in the last two years three clients, three groups, and they were all so happy. And I tell you, Salamina is the perfect alternative for Salenta or it's even better than Salento, I assure you that. So here's one of the hotels, Salim and Heis. We will show you more afterwards. And because the building is very beautiful, I wanted to show you that they have some nice decoration on the wall. So look at this, that's the entrance. And they have a nice suite, the balcony. They have a, ah, you will see it later in the video. Oh. Let's walk around the block, then we'll go to the main road. And then I want to show you something very cool. And also here you have some, ooh, something flew in my eye. It's very cool. Look at this. So Salamino is kind of the, the sleeper town because it's very beautiful. It's very quiet. It's very local, very original and on the tourism map it's totally unknown it was actually totally unknown um, end of last year the the guys from the hotels they told me it started a little bit they had a good last year so people were arriving locals colombians and also foreigners not like hundreds but um, it was a increase to the years before uh, recognizable so that's why they were quite happy and then the coronavirus hit and yeah everything went south and now we're trying to reactivate tourism and yeah I have no clients since March and now it's uh, end of October so it's a good opportunity for me to travel 
to make videos, promotion, and to show you. And yeah, when we show you the hotels, you will also find uh, affiliate links down in the description section, which you can click and book the hotel if you're traveling by yourself. If you're a backpacker or adventurer or whatever, if you don't uh, uh, buy packages with me, for example, or other travel agency, then you can use the links and then I will get a little commission for the good advice and information I'm always giving here on my channel. So this is one of the main roads that leads directly to the central square. And when I was walking here around noon, there were not that many people. And now there is much more going on, which is cool. And also uh, with the car, I was actually looking for some spot up the hill over there to fly the drone that I can oversee the city. And I found a Mirador a viewpoint. And uh, they told me there's another one, but I didn't find the second viewpoint. But it was too far away, it was like two kilometers away, so I wasn't able, or I don't want to, to send my drone up from there. So I came back and then flew the drone a little bit, but there's some antennas and uh, many wires, so it's not the best place. And it was a little cloudy. Actually, now it will be better from the light. If you see drone footage and you will think, Oh, usually Frank shows us better pictures, better stuff than, yeah. It's really depending on, on the weather conditions and the quality really depends on, on, on the light you get. For example, early in the morning, uh, sunrise or after four, you have the magic hours with those, with this soft light. That's, that's just great. So you see the whole, the whole street, very cool. Here are also some buildings that are not so colonial, but where I was walking before, that's the uh, local market where everybody arrives with the uh, wheelie chips and we go there and to see if still something is going on because that was very cool. Everybody was very busy over there with lots of fruits and vegetables and plants. And let's see if we get there in time and people are still around there. But yeah, right now it looks like everybody heads to the main plaza for whatever reason. Maybe they also have a festival, who knows? Like in <laughs> Aquadas, they have like, half of the time they have festivals. But I have the feeling like two or three years ago since I visited Salamina the last time, it developed a bit, changed a little bit because before, it was just for quiet, but now I think it lives a bit more. It's a bit modern. I mean, not like huge, but ah, yeah, here is us. So let's go here. Oh, only one really cheap is left. Before there were like eight. I love those chips. One day, if I have many clients, I will buy me one of those chips. Hey, what's you guys? How is done? So this is the local transport or school bus. So people use that for transport all over. And here we have different shops. And here a little market. And that's where people buy their stuff. And this is where the farmers deliver their stuff every day, every day fresh. And here you see the most important, <laughs> the beer. <laughs> and then uh, also every, every agriculture product you need actually, you can find here. This is really like the, the central place for all the farmers that bring their stuff. Look at this. That's so cool. Plantain. So usually they bring all their stuff with the willy chips and then with the bigger trucks, they bring all the stuff to, to Manizales, maybe, to further areas. So here you see, we have many willy chips, you see. And if you need to fix something, you have the, the shop right here 
yeah this is actually what I wanted to show you I mean this is real uh, real Colombian town life and here in the morning people arrive here life starts at five o'clock in the morning wheelies arrive with all the goods with the plants with the vegetable everything this is real Colombia and you know Colombians are in general very friendly and but this place I would say is probably one of the friendliest places even in Colombia so we have more agriculture shops we're a little away from the main square now hacemos una entrevista quieren decir algo a los extranjeros a los extranjeros ah que bienvenido bienvenidos a la mina welcome to Salamina y usted cómo se llama Alonso Alonso y Octavio Octavio Alonso bienvenido a Salamina bienvenido a Salamina gracias so they said welcome. I love Colombia. So here another shop for construction. So let's head back to the main square or at least to that direction and to see or to show you some more nice buildings, some more roads. Let's see we also can go and have a coffee because I feel like drinking coffee. So I started my trip to Medellin almost three weeks ago and uh, have a good rhythm. In Medellin, I was visiting all the hotels and uh, sites for conferences with the Chamber of Commerce. And then I started to visit some towns. And uh, yeah, had no day off so far. Didn't sleep too well sometimes, especially uh, in Aguadas. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Lots of traffic, lots of noise during the night. And I have a very light sleep. So I, I wake up very easily sometimes. It's a bit difficult. So this is a, a very nice one here. You see all those colonial buildings. You have those nice doors. You have the balconies. Sometimes you don't even have a balcony. You just have the, the, the thing which looks like a balcony. It's really beautiful with the colors. Here's some green. And then on the other side, you have blue, yellow. Yeah, beautiful. Also here, this building. Look at this. Beautiful. Look at these balconies. Some stuff could use some paint, maybe. Oh, this is the same one we came from. So let's go back to the main square and uh, make a little round and then let's have a coffee. So, back on field one, main square. So we have some beautiful buildings, but also some buildings, it's not. 100% complete the main square with having beautiful buildings around it. But the park, the park is really beautiful. You see the bank? The businesses with money have the ugliest building. No, this is actually the ugliest. I don't know what that is. And this road here is also very cool. You have also nice buildings. And you see, it goes all the way up to there. And I was there. But the interesting part is actually here. That's why it's, it's much better than Salento, because you also have the wax palms, you have a big forest you can actually visit, which is great, very close. Now with the new road, like uh, 20, 30 minutes. And to me, if you want to make a real Colombian experience, you can go to Salento, which is full of backpackers and half of the town was bought up by foreigners. Or you can come to Salamina and have a real Colombian experience in a real traditional heritage town. So now we are going to visit the hotels. I will comment on that uh, during the, we show you the, some pictures. And after the hotels, we'll show you some more footage of the town.
Actually, that's not something I want to promote, but I think Salamina would be a very good investment opportunity because as being a heritage town of Colombia, it has a brand and uh, yeah, some stuff would be great to buy. I'm sure it's not too expensive. So this is the cemetery and I remember when I came here for the first time, a local guy made us a tour around uh, town and also a cemetery. It's now closed. But with the selfie stick, we have no fence. We are without borders. So you can see, it's quite, it's quite beautiful. So let's go to the other side. So you have a big entrance, quite spectacular, as you can see. It's quite big. Very beautiful. So look at this building without windows. That would be perfect. Perfect opportunity. View over the cemetery and then the mountains. I would buy that right away. Perfect view. Cemetery has the best view of town. Oh, didn't come here before. Don't remember that one. Here are some beautiful houses with great balconies and oh look at this <laughs> yeah. this is feel comfortable with me the cat like the colombian girls running away when they see me <laughs> what is that that's a nice street beautiful houses here somebody told me it's so boring when you tell ah look at this look at this and you on the screen you just see it later so let's switch let's do it like this let's see if that works so now I can see like i do i don't know if it's more shaky if that works wow look at this it's beautiful Yeah, I think I should buy uh, a 360 camera. Then uh, it would be possible to make blitz screen. Oh, that's that road. This is where the hotels are.
if you like my channel, give me a like or two likes or three likes. That's good for the algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe. That's also very good to get more subscribers. Don't forget to share with everybody who might be interested in traveling to Colombia. And all I can do now is send you the best wishes, stay healthy and hope to see you soon here on my channel again or even better here in Colombia. All the best. Here's Colombia Frank from Salamina. Bye bye.